Hey guys, TechMate Easy, and thank you for clicking on our video today. Guys, we got a foot of snow today. And so I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and take this bad boy out and use it like I do when it snows, because lately it hasn't snowed too much. But this year we've got three snowstorms already. This is the biggest one at a foot of snow. And I gotta tell you, it didn't disappoint. Didn't disappoint at all. Um, I have two sets of batteries, two 7.5 amp batteries. I have an original set and then I have the newer one with the fuel gauge. And I went through a, a set and a half, I should say, right? One full set and a half of batteries. This is wet snow, um, especially as you get to the bottom. But uh, let me show you some video and just talk to you about this because this is the original one when it first launched. So this is a long-term review. Well, the birds are yelling. We got a foot of snow to clean up. Look at the truck, huh? And uh, look at all this yummy, yummy. Finally, get to use the two-stage again. I've used it for a few years. I'll tell you, I got no complaints. Now let's go ahead and check this out. You know what time it is. Got to get the batteries charged. 700 watt charger is the way to go. All right, so first generation two stage Ego snowblower. Um, I believe this is the SNT 2400 because I already had the batteries. SNT 2405 is the one with the batteries and the charger. Now, what I've learned, even from my subscribers, is slow and steady wins the race. You don't need to have your drive all the way up, and you don't need to have your auger all the way up. Otherwise, you're going to drain your batteries super quick. So, put your drive on low. Put your auger on maybe setting two initially. Uh, maybe three at most. All right, so one, two, three, four, five is turbo. So, I'm going to leave it on setting two all right i don't know if that's setting three i'll leave it there so i'm not using too much battery all right and i am still using some older batteries let me show you that so i've got the original 7.5 amp hour batteries without the fuel gauge and i think these are around like 70 percent capacity at this point but we'll see. I've got more batteries. You always, you know, if you're going to snow blow, especially with a foot, two feet, three feet, you know, definitely recommended to have an extra set of batteries. All right, let's start this. So you just push the button down and grab the handle. As you can see, this is wet snow, all right? It's still a little fluffy, but it's wet snow. So, you know, I think I'm gonna kick the auger up a little bit more, but uh, yeah. Chopped it all down. Not bad at all. All 
you know, I put these skids on. These are uh, steel skids. I don't know if you can get them anymore. You know, they were on Amazon, then they were on Home Depot, but these things go through anything and they're adjustable. So, big fan. So as you can see, I mean, even with wet snow, it cleaned up pretty well. I mean, look at this. That is uh, pretty thick, if you ask me. But, you know, I came through a couple of times to uh, clean up and it did a good job. You know, it's a little slushy here. It's not going to get everything, you know, and I've got those skids on there, the metal skids. So it just glides on concrete sidewalks, no issues whatsoever. But we got a good amount of snow and uh, my Fusion, well, she's going to stay covered for a little while. So again, my biggest tip that my subscribers taught me is slow and steady wins the race. We had this on level one eco or level two at most as far as auger speed. And we had the drive set at two and we didn't even touch that. Um, you know, really nice, very good. I mean, it did the job, saved my back, but really worth the money. Again, this is the original, right? S SNT 2400 or with the kit SNT2405. All right, so I wanna take some time and really give you some good feedback. So I bought this, um, I believe it was November of 2020. And this was the first video that I did on the snowblower. I had a ball and I got a lot of feedback from subscribers. Uh, so check that out. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna see it. Now, the first year, that year, December 2020, I noticed that the chute was drifting, which was weird. I'm like, why is it drifting? So Ego came out with a temporary fix, and this is the video that I posted about it. Again, I'll leave a link in the description. And um, January 2021, Ego came out with an upgrade kit, I sh and uh, I received that, and I installed it. This is the video that I did in that situation. So again, I'll put a link in the description. Now, here I am over four years later, right? December 2020 to February 2024. And my overall experience, I have to say, after the shoot upgrade, I've had no issues whatsoever. You know, I really, really like this two-stage. Um, I do have to say, though, you, you should have two sets of batteries, um, especially for large snowstorms. And if you don't, you should probably have two 700-watt chargers because uh, you'll be able to charge your batteries up quickly. But be careful. I will tell you, if you charge your batteries quickly, let them sit for 30 minutes. You know, let them sit um, before, and, before and after, really. So, you know, after you use them, let them sit for 30 minutes. And then after you charge them, let them sit for 30 minutes. Seriously, if this is they're expensive and you're better off letting them cool down. Now, as far as the 28 inch, I don't need it. It's definitely larger and heavier. And I checked it out at Lowe's side by side. And I'm so glad I didn't get it because that thing is heavy and it is a lot larger. I don't really need it. So I'm really glad that I stuck with this original 24 inch. Look, links will be in the description for the videos I mentioned and for the 700 watt chargers if you want to pick those up. And I'll also put a few snowblower links in the description. But, you know, just wanted to share my feedback with you. All right, guys. Well, I, I'm, I'm loving it. You know, I have no issues with this original one. You know, we had a shoot issue early on where it would drift, but that got fixed with an upgrade. Um, anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. That would greatly help our video. Follow us on social media right up top. Check out our new Tesla channel. And subscribe to our channel. When you have a moment, we'll put our logo right there. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.